Okay, cool. I think that is all set up. Uh, so, as I mentioned, my name is Julian Kanjere. I am with Mandla Money. Um, we are a startup coming out of the University of Cape Town in South Africa. And I'm going to be talking about basically doing bulk payments using RLUSD and WhatsApp. Okay, so for this talk, the idea is to talk about what are bulk payments, uh, use cases such as relief aid, sort of the desired properties for, uh, for, for making these bulk payments using crypto rails uh, and everyday apps. And then I'll give a demonstration of what we've done at Mandla Money with our web portal and our WhatsApp wallet. Um, and fingers crossed that the demo gods will be kind for that, uh, for that presentation. Okay, so to set the scene for this, um, I spent the last two weeks in Kenya. Uh, I was on holiday there in a coast. I spent most of my time at the coast. So there's a small town called Diani, and then there's another town called Mombasa, which is the second largest city in Kenya. And Kenya, you probably would be familiar with M-Pesa, which is used for payments universally throughout. Um, but to get between these two coastal towns, I made use of a ferry, which is that image that you see. And just to give you context that, you know, the, this ferry is going between these two cities every 15 minutes, transporting thousands of people that are going to Mombasa for their daily work. Um, and this ferry is for free. But it's basically a means to transport people to economic opportunity. Now, this scale of people, if you're a government and making payments to thousands of people, how are you doing this effectively? If you are an NGO making payments to people that are, to communities that are affected by some crisis, how are you doing this effectively? Um, and at the end of this presentation, hopefully we'll have answered this question of how could you pay multiple users in one go via their cell numbers using crypto rails and a non-volatile asset? And I'll give a hint, that would be RLUSD. Okay, so let's, let's start with this. What are bulk payments? Just basically this idea of can you pay multiple recipients in one go, right, um, and save time and cost? And typical examples of this would be, if you're familiar with, with, with crypto, would be airdrops. If you launch a new token, you're doing an airdrop, you're paying people, many people in one go. If you are doing payroll, you're sort of submitting all of these transactions and having people paid as soon as their payday arrives. Um, you could do this as B2B payments, B2C payments, or if you're a government distributing grants to citizens, um, how can you do this effectively, quickly and cheaply um, as possible? Okay. So specifically looking at relief aid as a type of, um, of use case, Relief aid is generally one of two forms. You either, if you're an NGO, you're either distributing uh, materials, so this could be blankets or food, or you're distributing cash and vouchers, uh, which can then be redeemed at specific merchants. Um, and these are distributed either physically or digitally via a wallet of, um, of some sort. If you're distributing physical cash, then you're going to need to think about having security to protect that cash as well. Okay. And then if you then bring this into this sort of context of um, bulk payments, what are the ideal properties? You want, you want this to, assuming that you're distributing um, this cash and vouchers digitally, you want it to be fast, you want it to be low cost, you don't want to have unnecessary middlemen. And this is where XRPL ticks these boxes where it's low cost, it's fast, and introducing now RLUSD, we are sort of then bringing this global aspect to, um, to this concept. Okay, so bringing all of this together then, is, the question is how have we at Mandla Money um, bring, brought these concepts together and enabled bulk payments via everyday tools? Okay, so what we've done is we've developed the Mandla Money bulk payments web portal, which basically allows an administrator to log in with their XRPL wallet and then enter in recipient cell numbers. So they could enter in, let's say, a thousand cell numbers or upload a CSV, and then you click pay, just a single click and all of these recipients are then paid the amount that you have specified. This could be a payment in XRP, this could be a payment in RLUSD, the stable coin, or it could be any other issued asset on the XRP, um, on the XRP ledger. And the sort of benefits of this is that it's immediate, it's low cost, you've got an audit trail which you can prove to your funders um, and, and so forth. Okay, so what does that look like? Um, I've got an, a view of the web interface, 
where we've got the different cell numbers that have been processed for payments. And at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the sort of different transactions that have taken place. I'm going to do a demonstration of this, so not to worry too much about that. Um, and then we have the receiver side, the WhatsApp interface, where the first screen a receiver has received RLUSD. The second is they are making a peer-to-peer -peer payment to another cell number within the ecosystem. And the third is they're cashing out that payment by sending to an exchange or an agent. Okay? And then we then have a PDF report for this payment, which sort of shows what, how much was dispersed, who was this sent to, and the transaction um, IDs on the blockchain if needed for audit purposes. Okay. So um, fingers crossed that the demo gods are looking kindly on us. Um, Let's see if we can switch to, switch to this demo. So uh, what I've got for the demo is I've got an account that already has some RLUSD. So you'll notice here that I've got about 12 US dollars in this, um, in this account. And what I will then do is come into this web interface and say that I want to disperse some assets. Um, I will enter in the seed for the wallet, basically logging in with um, with this wallet. And then once I am logged in, I am going to select some cell numbers to make payments to. Okay, I've entered in the cell numbers that I want to make payments to. I click on process phone numbers and what happens is those phone numbers are validated to be correct. If this account doesn't already exist within the Mandla Money ecosystem, then we create a wallet for them and we create an ID for them. That Mandla ID is a destination tag on the XRP ledger if they ever want to then receive funds. I then choose which asset I want to send to these users and that's going to be RLUSD. Now remember my balance was about 12 USD, so I want to send um, half a dollar to all of these recipients, right? So I'm just going to say send 0 0.5 and I'm going to click on make payments. When I click on make payment, it's going to start making the payments. And on the right hand side, we've got my WhatsApp open. You will notice a notification popping up once the payment is received. OK, so let's click on make payment. Um, and then those payments are being processed. We are connected to the internet, so that should go through. OK, you'll notice there that the first payment has gone through. And I've got a transaction ID, and I've received a message um, in my WhatsApp to say um, that I've received a deposit. So I'm going to click on that, um, and you'll notice there that I've received a deposit of, um, of half a dollar from that account. And then now, if I wish to send this to another user within the system, um, I just now need to log into my wallet. So I'm going to say hello. Um, but you'll notice on the website, it's still sending out transactions to the other numbers. Okay, once I'm logged in, I'm going to select Ripple Services, and, um, and then I'll say that I wish to send money. So my balance, my RLUSD balance is $1.60. I'm going to say I wish to send money. Okay, then it's going to ask me for the recipient's number, and I'm just going to copy that. Okay, that's pasting from the Mac onto the phone, so it takes a bit of a while. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to say that I want to send, um, can I send XRP or RLUSD? I want to send RLUSD, uh, and then I'll specify the amount that I wish to send, and I will send one, um, one USD. Okay, and then it's going to ask me for confirmation, and then I'm going to say, yes, I want to send that. Um, and then once that goes through, I'll get a confirmation. So that says that it's been sent successfully. I've got a version of WhatsApp that's open here to the number that I've, that I've sent to, and you'll notice that um, they received a deposit of one USD from this account. Um, if I wanted to then withdraw funds to... Um, to an exchange, then I'll just simply say withdraw funds, and then I put in the exchange address, and the same process would, would apply. 
Um, so that's the end of the demo. I'll just go back to my final slide. And that final slide is basically a question that I asked at the beginning. What if we could pay multiple users in one go via their cell numbers using crypto rails and RLUSD? And I hope that I've answered this and shown you how we can do this with RLUSD and our WhatsApp wallet and bulk payments interface. Thank you very much. And uh, if there's any questions, I'll take them. Thank you.